Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm using a kit from Plan 2 Stitch Planning. I believe it was a mini kit and it was called Snow Days. If you watched my Come Etsy Shopping With Me video then you would have seen me purchase this kit and I'm so glad that I did because I wasn't too sure as it was more of a Christmassy themed kit but I really like it. So this week I've decided to trim this washi in half, so normally I just stick the washi along the bottom but this week I wanted to put some at the bottom and at the top so I just used a paper cutter and sliced it through the middle. I then stuck one part at the bottom where I would normally put the washi and the other section I stuck along the top and I just covered up the dates along the top as I'm going to be pulling in some separate date covers. There wasn't any dates covers that come with the kit or anything but I had some like in my drawer from my shop so I just decided to use those. But if you haven't got any date covers and you would like to do this with the washi where you split it in half so you've got some at the top and bottom you can just cover up the days of the week and then hand write them yourself or maybe print some off and cut them out. There's lots of different ways that you can do it if you don't actually have any date covers but you kind of want to cover them up to make it match the kit a little bit more. So I've just grabbed out my date covers and then I remembered that I bought these bow stickers from Stickers for Keepers and I can't actually remember if I ordered a pink set and a blue set or whether I just ordered a pink set and she very kindly sent me a blue set as well. I'm going to have to go back and check my order but I did have these both colours arrive so I mean I could have blacked out when I was shopping that does happen so I decided I would try those out as as I was saying in that video in my Etsy shopping video that I haven't really got into the bow craze or use many bows so I thought these would go really well with the kit so I decided to mix both colours as there was blue and pink in this kit so yeah I really like them I was taking my time this was looks a lot harder than what it should have been I was trying to make them nice and straight so then they looked all pretty. I got there in the end, it was a little bit of a an episode. I then put down my date covers along the top and I did put down Friday and Thursday, I did realise, uh, and then I just go back and add all of the dates on. So funny story or embarrassing story really, um, let me jump back a bit so you have the backstory on like how my brain works. So two years ago after we had our Christmas dinner we were having after eights as you do, you know it's a normal thing and I was kind of casually looking down at the after eights wrapper and realised that the symbol on them is a clock. Not only is it a clock, the clock hands have gone just past eight so it's just after eight. And I was like amazed that I've never figured that out before. I've been eating after eights for like 30 years, just figured that out. Similar thing kind of happened. So I was putting a picture up on Instagram, I think it was, and I was putting the tags in for it. It was the um, Mambi sticker books that I've been using. And so I put the tags in, the Mambi, me and my big ideas, Mambi sticker books, those kind of tags. And then it suddenly dawned on me, wait for it, Mambi is short for me and my big ideas. I was speechless and I've just figured that out. This is why I don't call myself a true planner girl. Anyway, getting back to what we were doing. So going in day by day. So obviously Monday I worked, I had my food shop delivery. So I just used one of my food puppets. I then put down two pieces of washi, which is quite hard to see on camera because they're quite light. And then I put a half box down that I flipped up onto its side as I cooked dinner with my daughter. So I just wrote that down in my planner as a little reminder because it's kind of cute. And I'm also filming this Tuesday instead of Monday. Normally I would film this on Monday if I don't have a chance on Sunday, but my fiance had a migraine, which I'm now writing down in my planner as I've got the little headache poppets, which are also a really good way to track migraines if you are a migraine sufferer. Um, yeah, so I didn't manage to film this on Monday. So today I've had to film, edit and upload, which I really don't like doing it all in one day. But anyway, it's up, I'm feeling good. Uh, also my daughter had some coursework to do so I just wrote that down and I put a light blue page flag at the bottom which again it's pretty hard to see but I promise you it's there. So moving on to Tuesday I started with uh, two strips of the washi again and I wanted to put another half box down but I realised that the washi strips were too high so I just moved one of the washi strips down. Actually I think I moved both of them down a little bit and it's a quarter box that I flipped up onto its side and I don't usually do that because obviously you haven't got much room to write but I just wanted to write down that I will be filming this plan with me and I could easily fit that into the small quarter box. I feel like I've got my planning mojo back. It took me a couple of weeks to get into the swing. I'm not sure why because it's the same planner, well not the same planner, but it's the same layout as my previous planners. It's just 
in a new planner. I don't know, it kind of threw me off and my planning style was kind of all over the place in my writing, but I feel like I've got my planning mojo back now, which is a super good thing. So then I moved on to a to-do section. I wanted to edit this video and then while I'm editing the video, I wanted to be able to pack up some orders that I've got to do. And then obviously I want to do my voiceover, so I used one of the poppets from the feeling sheet with the mouth open as it looks like it's kind of either singing or shouting. So I used that to mark for my voiceover. I then used another one of the poppets from the happy mail sheet as I want to post the orders that I'm packing up. And then I just used a YouTube social poppet to mark down that I want to upload this plan with me. I've also got some happy mail due today coming from Amazon so I used yet another poppet from the happy mail sheet just to mark that down at the bottom. I'm also using a new microphone so I'm hoping that the audio sounds okay. Let me know down below if it doesn't. I've hijacked my son's microphone that he got for Christmas and I've brought it downstairs to my PC which is what I'm using. So he got a snazzy one that he uses for like streaming and gaming and I just decided to um, borrow it. I'll have to put it back before he gets home. <laughs> So for Wednesday I put down a full box up at the top and then I put down a quarter box with a poppet holding the stickers as I want to do some designing. The poppet is from the planning sheet. The paper from Plan 2's Plan Stitching is really nice but my pen does bleed a lot on it so you can see that it's a lot darker than when I'm writing on my planner. Not that I mind, it's just if you guys uh, are using these kind of felt pens that I like to use. Just be aware that they do bleed a little bit on the paper, but it's not like obvious and it's not a bad thing. I just thought I would let you know. Um, underneath, I want to have an afternoon of cleaning. So I'm gonna design in the morning and then do my to-do list that I've just made. I did take my sheet of paper out from the planner as it's really hard to write with the discs just there. So I don't know why I bothered putting it back because I take it off again and put it back and then take it off again. I should have just left it off. But I'm just writing here that my daughter is going out and meeting up with a friend. And I used one of the bows from the kit. It's actually one of the deco stickers. And if I can use deco within my spread as like a functional item, I really love doing that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love deco stickers, like literally anywhere. You could put them anywhere in my eyes, but I do really like them when I can incorporate it into my actual spread. And then here I'm just writing down that my children have got some homework and I use the poppet that doesn't look very happy because that's normally what they look like when I say it's homework time. I just created a little checklist myself so I can tick off when that child has done some homework. So the full box that I used at the top is actually a double box, so I decided to use the other half of it on Thursday. They're not like really together and you can't really tell that it's a double box, but that's why I've done it that way. I then put down one of the long page flags and another happy poppet from the feeling sheet as I want to design again on Thursday morning. I put down a poppet with the Etsy symbol, which is from the social sheet, I believe, as I need to sort out some bits on Etsy and go through my listings. I then put a poppet down from the planning sheet as I want to film my sticker storage. I was supposed to do it last, uh, not last week, week before, and I never got round to it. So I've put it in my planner to remind myself to really try and get that filmed for you guys this week. Underneath I put a quarter box with one of the heart icons as I want to do a sims video. And then at the bottom here I just took one of my poppet reminder boxes because we have got parents evening. And then moving on to Friday, I put a pink page flag right at the top and I've actually got a day off of work. So even though it looks like I've put pay off, it's day off. You can't have neat writing all the time, I suppose. But I just put a day off, I was gonna say day off pop it, I put a happy pop it down. And then I put a piece of washi down and another half box that I flipped up onto its side. So I could write down that I have got a new release, which I will show you guys in a minute as that's 
kind of what I've been doing lately. I've just been showing you what my new release is going to be. I really like these. These are the floral poppets, just in time for spring. Although I think I'm going to use them throughout the whole entire year because that's just me. But I really like them, so I hope you guys do too. I then put down a full box underneath and I kind of went back up here and I've left this bit in because I want to know if you guys are the same as me and if you see a space in your planner you just need to find something to stick there not necessarily for anything but you just need to fill up that gap let me know down below if you are like me and you just have to fill up a big gap if you see it and then moving back down I just created another checklist so I used another one of the long heart checklists and a to-do header as I've got the day off work I'm going to be spending it tidying not doing anything exciting at all but if I get it all done Friday that frees up the weekend There was another double box that came with the kit so I decided to use that on the weekend and I pulled it right down at the bottom and decided to put my weekend banner down at the bottom as well. I haven't done that for a long time but I think it looks really pretty down at the bottom and it kind of frees up the top. So I wanted another page flag but there wasn't any more with the kit so I just trimmed off the bottom of a checklist and then I didn't want the two page flags to be next to each other so I decided to put the other bits in first so I want to do my food shop so I used one of the food shop poppets I then put a PC poppet down as I want to um, do some emails as well in the morning and then I will put the checklist, not checklist sorry, the um, page flag that I made from the checklist at the bottom and that was just to remind myself that I need to go and pick up a lamp that I ordered for my daughter's bedroom. And then as I've done all of the housework on Friday, it frees up Saturday so I can film the plan with me. So I use the planner which comes with the kit and just write down film plan with me. And if I don't manage to film it on Saturday, I've then got Sunday. So it's not like such a rush. Um, I've also got time to have a movie night with the children. We have got a movie that we want to watch and I can't remember what it's called. I was about to tell you, but it's gone. Nope, can't remember. So I used the um, poppets from the family sheet with just their little heads in. And then moving on to Sunday, it's just like the usual get ready for school. So I used the planner that comes with the kit and just wrote down homework. I used the jumper from the deco sheet to mark down that I want to get their uniforms ready. And I also want to get their school bags ready, so I used one of the poppet bags to mark that down. I also used these slippers from the deco sheet, which are really adorable, but I used them to mark down that I want to polish their school shoes. Not that they wear slippers to school, but you know. It kind of matches. I then just marked down that I want to make their pack lunches so I used one of the poppet lunches. I find it really handy and easier to make lunches the night before so I've got five pack lunches to make for Monday. Even if you just get the pack lunches out and kind of put everything in that you need and then in the morning you've just got one or two things to put in it's just so much easier and a big time saver. And then moving on to the sidebar, I used the last full box at the top. I did want two habit trackers, but there was only one in the kit, so I was trying to find something that I could stick over the hydrate, as there are seven kind of drops, and I could reuse that as another habit tracker. So I actually used a quarter box that was the same colour, and just stuck that over the top. And I can just label it like I would a normal habit tracker. I put down one of the next week foiled stickers, which is from the Ginger Cat Co and a weekly box for my next week section. I put down my Poppet saving sticker and then one, another full box right down at the bottom. So for my 52 week saving challenge this week I need to put aside six pounds. I filled in my habit trackers, one I wanted for Instagram and then the other one I wanted to track an app called Duolingo. I want my son to do 10 minutes or 15 minutes every day on the app and I can just mark it. Here I'm just switching out the weekly box for a bow checklist because sometimes I have more than one thing happening on a day so it's just easier for me to not have a weekly checklist but just have a normal checklist. And then I just finished it off with the pillows which come from the deco sheet and that was my last piece of deco. 
So here's everything that I've got left. I've got one full box left and a couple of other little bits so they will be going into my leftovers pile. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's plan with me. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Also don't forget to hit the like button if you did enjoy it and also subscribe if you are not already because I'm really close to my next milestone here on YouTube so I'm thinking ahead and planning a special video kind of like I did last time for my 1000 subscribers I've done a vlog a day in the life so I'm thinking about doing another special video when I hit the next milestone so please don't forget to subscribe other than that I hope you're having a lovely week so far and I'll see you all next time bye guys